here. I got some food for thought for you today. Just wanted to share it real quick. So today Hurricane Gordon is about to impact uh, the Florida Panhandle and Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. So as it comes in, that gets me thinking. What kind of journals can we create to help people who are going through certain situations like this? Hurricane season is from June 1st to November 30th of each calendar year. And then we start seeing a pickup in hurricanes in September. Um, so there are a couple things we can do with that. Uh, hurricane preparedness planner and journal. We could set up the we can set up pages for people to document what they have to do in case they have to vacate due to a hurricane coming. So maybe they need to turn off the gas. Uh, they need to turn off the electricity to the house. They need to pack uh, clothes. They need to pack food for the trip. They need to make sure they have credit cards uh, gathered and ready to go. They need to have a hurricane pack. Everything at the door ready to go in case they have to vacate. And a checklist would be perfect for that. So put together a journal that's a hurricane preparedness planner and journal where they can write down what they need to take. And they can go through and check them off. Check, 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 check. And now they're ready to go. And then that way they feel that um, they come out of it with a little bit more confidence that they've covered all the bases they need to cover as they're heading north uh, away from the storm. Okay? So that's one thing. Uh, another thing we can do with it is uh, uh, a friends and family list. The names of everybody you need to contact while you're in the road in case your phone gets destroyed or whatever. Who do you need to notify that you have vacated and you're heading north away from the storm? Who, do, Which of your family members need to be alerted to your safety? So there's a lot of different things we could do with this. Think about it. Put yourself in the shoes of the people who are going through this right now and try to figure out what they need to document inside of a book that they can carry with them when they leave. And maybe they need to have phone numbers recorded for schools so that in case they can't get back or when they do get back and their house is gone, this is who we need to contact to let them know that the kids may not be in school next week. And if uh, everything goes south and the storm surge takes out their house. These are the people we need to contact insurance companies and so on and so forth. So gather up, uh, gather up a checklist in your mind of what people could use in this situation. Put it into a journal. Put it up on Amazon and give people the ability to be prepared in the event of an emergency like this. So that's just my idea for today. And I'll leave you at that. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bill Platt. Have a great day.